Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a goat cheese omelet with spinach, onions, and tomatoes. So here I have three eggs, mm -hmm. some coconut milk, my favorite seasoning, Sazon Classico, some goat cheese, spinach, cleaned and washed already, nice onion, and a plum tomato. So first, what I need to do is chop up our ingredients. So let's cut the tomato. So it's very important that you get this the pit out. You really don't need it. I like using this knife because it's very easy. And nice and sharp. You have not to cut yourself. It's almost like filleting a fish. Alright, so I just want to dice this. Nice medium dice is good. Try to keep your hands curled, keep it all together, but some will get away. We're not really going for perfection here, we just want to dice this enough. We move that to the nice corner of the board. Then we take our onion. Probably need a half. Half an onion is perfect. Off the outside. Nice medium dice is good. I like to get almost every part of the onion if I can. Alright, so now we have our onions and tomatoes. So what I need is a fork. We take our coconut milk. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, coconut milk. Just a splash. It gives the eggs just a different texture. Love this stuff. Just a little. So yeah, two tea with two tape two table things. Take my favorite seasoning, just a little bit. Now here I have a Sazon Goya. It makes the, um, the omelet orange. I want to have a little fun, so. Add that. These onions are so strong, they're making me want to cry right now. Let's add a little garlic powder. I like this Montreal chicken. I like to add this to my omelet. I don't know why. Since eggs do come from a chicken. Why not, right? So we incorporate. So we have a nice little orange omelet. Now I just use a whole packet of the Sazon and it's salty so I, I'm not going to add salt to anything else in this dish because you don't want to overpower it too much or it's unedible. So now I'm going to head over and um, heat up the pan. And we have some butter in it already. You just want to let that get very hot. I like the butter to foam. Just 
should only take about a minute to really melt down good. While that's starting to foam, I'm going to go grab my onions and tomatoes. Now I'm going to use Big Bertha to scoop everything. This is one of my favorite knives. One shot. We're just going to saute this lightly. Just a little bit so the butter absorbs. It's already smelling good in there. So while that's cooking, I can get my spinach and throw it in there also. Just right in with the pot. You only really want to wilt this bending down. So let that cook. So this is a trick that I use to get this finished to wilt a little fast. So I take some water in a pan, and I just dump it in. And I close the pan just like this, just for a second. So while I was doing that, we'll get back to our eggs. Let me show you the completed list. Ooh, oh well. Let's see, I'm still good. Sorry about that. So look, this finish is now wilted. Flip it in. Now we add our eggs. Now that's, I'm just going to take a little longer to cook. Only because there's so much ingredients in here. So you got to be patient. So now we have a nice orange omelet. Let that cook. And me, I like to put the goat cheese in while it's doing this, not during this step. Almost looks like a pizza. I'm a pizza. I think that's enough. Maybe we could turn the flame down a little. Grab our spatula. We just want to check the corners. Now, most people really want to eat an orange omelet, but I would. I like to explore new things. I'm always going to make this like a scramble down there. I just want to incorporate all the ingredients. Food's fun, you gotta experiment with it. And we can feed the camera person. It's almost gonna be like a creamy texture. You know, most people eat with their eyes, but to me, I think chefing is all about flavor. So you got the green. I think this is just about done. Now we go to our plate. And just dump 
everything right on there. So here we have a spinach and goat cheese omelet. Hope you guys enjoy.